Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Aiden. I'm Gaynor. I'm Soph. And today we're doing Brits go to Texas and try deep fried Oreos. Now this is like a follow on from the uh, Texas rodeo they went to and yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure they're going to try a lot of deep fried things, not just Oreos. Yeah, I'm yeah. guessing. So they... like, key, like key lime pie, yeah, the key lime pie cheesecake, ice cream. <gasps> Yeah. They said at the, at the end of last video, we'll probably like put these out two together because they're linked yeah. really, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they so. tried some humongous. I'm not sure whether it was turkey or what. It was like a big... Oh, a big, massive leg. Yeah, it's so big as his bicep. The turkey leg. <laughs> Crazy. Eating like a caveman. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, these are... Uh, so you can see them in the back. Background like brownies. Mushrooms. Snickers or mate. Do that like sounds... I love Snickers. Like, I yeah, love Snickers. Like yeah, she like the things. <gasps> So that's like a bit, a bit like a deep What's a s'more? S'mores um, are is it, uh, marshmallow and chocolate yeah. sandwich between two like crackers. Wait, there's a cracker, crackers, yeah. yeah. <gasps> this looks nice. Delicious. So anyway, we're going to get into uh, Brits Go to Texas and try oh, deep the, fried. The turkey leg in the background there. The store oh, yeah. next to it. Oh, yeah. you that's what it is, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> Brits Go to Texas and try deep fried Oreos and other deep fried stuff. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy, partner. Howdy. We're here at the rodeo in Houston. We've got no idea what people do, but <laughs> one thing that <laughs> everyone <laughs> that we bumped into have told us we must try is a deep fried Oreo. We've been on the lookout, found somewhere, not only sells deep fried Oreos, yes. they also sell oh, deep fried poppers. Is that what it says? Yeah. As far as I can tell. Just go back so a bit. about to try... Deep fried jalapeno <gasps> poppers. I don't think you understand how much I love jalapeno poppers. We've been poppers. on the lookout. Found somewhere, not only sells deep fried Oreos. Oh, yeah, jalapeno, jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers. That's one of my favourites. Yeah, I love jalapeno I poppers. Well. They also sell deep fried everything, as far as Pickles. I can tell. So, we're about to try pretty much one of everything. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, that's me. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Okay, this is your Twinkie. Twinkie, okay. This is key lime pie. Fantastic. Cheesecake. Lovely. S'more. Okay. Fried ice cream. Oh Wowzers. Oreos. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. You have a lovely day. Josh, I don't know why I expected them to look more different than this. <laughs> They're different shapes. They're different shapes. In but... fairness to them, I kind of was worried they'd all look identical, but they're all very nicely, pleasantly different shapes. All right. Let's oh do this. Let's start with ice cream, Josh. It's very, very hot. Shall I just hot. go for it? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> what, do you not use the stick? No. Press pause. Oh my gosh. Mm. So the ice cream, so it's like cold in the middle and hot on the outside? Yeah, so I've had a baked Alaska, which is ice cream that's then um, covered in meringue. And then, mm. is it meringue? I love meringue. It's, it's called baked Alaska, but the ice cream stays solid in the middle and it yeah. cooks around the outside because it's so hot. Mm. It's really good. That is, that is Delicious. interesting. Is Sounds it nice. the ice cream? Oh my. What? Oh my god. It's cold. <laughs> it's still frozen in the middle. That is incredible. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> it, kind of, it kind of imploded after the first bite. Here, you take it. Uh, yeah, it looks what? a bit messy to eat. Yeah. It's just when you're mm. sharing it, like... Yeah. The different textures, the crispiness of the batter, and the softness of the ice cream in the middle, the coldness of the ice cream, that's an incredible dessert. Incredible. You could sell that in a restaurant. You're genuinely good. That is going to be extremely tough to beat. Yeah. Should we do Oreos? The classic. This is what everyone recommended oh, wow. we try. Oh, whoa, what? Why is it so soft? Oh, gosh, this feels very, very hot. There's an Oreo in there? Let's do this. <laughs> what? Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. That. Oh my gosh. That. Yeah. See, when um, I had my fried Oreos, they were like they were like that, but like they were covered in sauce as yeah. well. On like really so, like the messy. outside, it wasn't like golden, like brown type color. It was like yeah. like covered in like milk and white chocolate uh, sauce. Uh, would you prefer, did you think, just plain like that? Probably. It probably made it a bit too sickly with all the yeah. sauce on it as well. Yeah, because the sauce, so is it supposed to be like an Oreo sauce? Like a... It was, it was, it was like that probably actually, because it was like yeah. milk and, I don't know if it was white chocolate, it could have been like a creamy chocolate type, like yeah. maybe the cream in the middle. Yeah, it was probably mm. the what, milk melted, and chocolate. Melted cream. Yeah, like the uh, middle of the Oreo. Yeah. yeah. But was it not deep fried? Mm. It was, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, when I tried it, it was hot. Yeah, it was. But they had sauce on the outside of it, so, it we didn't, like so you didn't see that golden brown colour. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
So it was still like black and white. Yeah. Because you look delicious. <laughs> it's a cardiovascular <laughs> disaster <laughs> right there. <laughs> Doctors hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Dentists hate them. Yeah. Everyone remotely associated to the medical profession <laughs> despises them. <laughs> that is literally a deep fried Oreo where the Oreo, because it's been heated up and cooked, it's become like soft and mushy. But still, I mean, it's so much sugar, it just tastes amazing. That is a menace to society. It really is. In the best way possible. <laughs> Holy crap. Is it crap. still crunchy inside? No. A little bit. There's like a little bit of texture to it. I mean, yeah, guys, yeah. my yeah. one was, was pure mush in the middle, but you know, I'm okay no. with it. Try that. Oh, you got only one, that is brave. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who did that for the first time? Yeah, who <laughs> thought of that? <laughs> Wait, try this. Deep fried ice cream. Just looks like ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything that's made worse by deep frying? <laughs> that's a good question. Is there anything that isn't improved? That's a more interesting episode. Ducky. Finding Ducky. something that is not improved by deep frying it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. My veins are all slowed down right now. Yeah, your veins. <laughs> that should be illegal. Went into to slow mo. All we right. polished that fried ice cream off. Key oh. lime pie on a stick, deep fried. <laughs> Can we just appreciate the fact that it is still in the shape of a slice of pie? I was not expecting no. that. Go on then, Josh. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Good. <laughs> oh gosh, it doesn't look great. I've never tried a key lime pie, but it just seems like there's too much uh, like lime. It's really nice. I think you'd like it because you like lemony and limey stuff, don't you? I do, yeah. But like, it just seems like compared to how much like what what even is it like the lime bit? It's it's just mixed with um like is it whipped like cream like jelly thing of. Just like that, like how much you get of that, whatever it is, compared yeah. to the pastry, just seems a bit it's, too much. No, no, it's not pastry. It's like. Um, is it like a cheesecake, cheesecake but it's just a bit, it's lime flavour? It's a bit like a cheesecake, but with lime flavouring in it, yeah. yeah. And it's a little mm. bit thicker, but it's really good. I'd probably, I'd probably love it, to be fair. Mm. I've That's never tried it, so I can't knock it. There's one in the fridge at home. What? At the back of the fridge, there's these little pots, key lime pie and lemon pie. Ooh. Interesting. Give it a try. Maybe. <laughs> it's proper, look like citrusy <laughs> lime pie in the middle. Okay. I really like that. Mm. I prefer that to the Oreo. <laughs> really? All right. You're... All right, you know my issue with that yeah. is it's acidic. Delicious. Yeah. It's a combination of extreme oiliness mm. and acid. Mm. To me, that just tastes like vomit. Oh, oh God. Why? Oh, it, <laughs> it does. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah. It honestly just tastes okay. like... Okay, okay. Well, it doesn't... It does. If, if you said to me that it does fried vomit, no. I'd say it improves vomit. No, <laughs> it's still vomit. There is acidity really to it, and so I see where you're coming from. Yeah, but it tastes good. No, it doesn't. I think it tastes I, good. All right. I think it tastes good. <clears throat> I need. I wait. Water break. I need. <laughs> give me. Give me a second. <laughs> give me a second. This is. This is so so intense. Is it possible to die of high cholesterol from a single meal? <laughs> Because I eat pretty healthily if outside of these videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, let's be honest, it's not a single meal. Yeah. We've been in Texas but this for two is, days. This is like being a non-smoker, but just once mm. a month smoking a thousand cigarettes, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Get your and that, that was that the was all in one. Yeah, been all in one go. in Texas. Really? Yeah, and I think it was because the food was so deep fried, I just picked stuff that wasn't. Get you, like, you're like, I'll pick the healthy Yeah, when you went options. to a restaurant, you'd look and everything was like so meaty and big and you'd just be over before you even got it you'd be over face so you'd mm. be like yeah. i'll just have a salad yeah <laughs> the free size salad yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely not be good for you that would not be good for you on that note <laughs> cheesecake twinkie or s'mores twinkies an interesting one isn't it yeah sorry i thought it's a twinkie sweet anyway. was already fried. okay this is the only one that i can actually hold by the stick well, look, without the stick sliding out you know how you have so, refried beans this is just a refried twinkie. Twinkie. Let's oh see. Oh gosh. This is going to be disgusting. Oh gosh. <sighs> Guys, I'm really struggling with this. Wow. Come on, Ellie. I'm trying. You know when people run the mar a marathon wow. and they say they're hitting a wall? Uh huh. I'm hitting the oil wall. You're hitting yeah. the deep fried wall. Yeah, there's, there's an oil waterfall which I need to run through. Yeah. That's coming out both ends that. later, isn't it? 
100% is unimproved on a normal Just Twinkie. Just not what it is. I don't that. like Twinkies normally. I mean, that's good. It's more Twinkie than a Twinkie. Yeah, that's this, yeah. It really is. It's the ultimate Twinkie. It's like a Twinkie squared. <laughs> yeah, a, a twinkling Twinkie. <laughs> All right. Twinkie. Yeah, another thing improved by. Like. 100% another. Have you had a Twinkie before, Luke? I don't think I have. Mate, try a deep fried one. First Twinkie. <laughs> oh, yes, no, Luke. Luke. First ever. We have literally gone and thrown ourselves in the deepest deep end possible Ooh. in yeah. Texas. What it's does a normal Twinkie taste like? Uh, like that, but way more chemically and less fresh. Wow. That's nice, right? <laughs> it's it's deep yeah. fried, but it's yeah. fresher. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I think I might vomit. It's so much oil, guys. I don't know. How, are you fine? Yeah. How? <laughs> I think I should go and be in the shade. Okay. <laughs> Just for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, these Brits seem like they're having a mighty fine time in Texas. What a state it is. And you're right. So much so that we made a t-shirt just to celebrate that fact. <laughs> Texas has been great and this t-shirt is pretty great too. If you want to support what us and help us make more content <laughs> like this, then go click the link in the description and buy one of these beautiful specimens for yourself. <laughs> buy one for a friend. Buy one for that one mate that you have from Texas because we've all got that mate. See you very soon. What's next? <sighs> Deep fried cheesecake. Wow. Yeah. It's two things that are independently indulgent, cake and cheese. Wow, look at that And texture. you're adding a new, it's a trifecta <laughs> of heart disease this time. Trifecta of heart disease. They've nicely cut this one in half for us, so you can have okay. that piece. You ready? Um, you know what, can I say I'm glad that you drizzled syrup on top of this? It wasn't indulgent enough. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the syrupless one. Oh no, you got syrup on the bottom. Okay. Sorry. Let's yes. do this. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Very cheesy. I don't know why. Wow. Each one that we've tried, I'm not expecting it to taste like the thing it is. No, that's that's very true. <laughs> I expect that the deep friedness is gonna suck the flavour from it, but it almost enhances that's the That's like even more cheesy than the average cheesecake. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like something that is artificially flavoured to taste like a cheesecake, but they've gone a bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like a Willy Wonka cheesecake. Yeah. 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 It's like 120% cheesecake. It's also got that slight acidy taste. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's not as bad as good. The, it's not Look, as bad as the We key finished lime off the key lime pie. Best one so far, the key lime pie. Uh, key lime yeah. pie's good. Okay. Ooh, citrusy. Isn't that good? Yeah. I like that. that. Deep fried ice cream was my favorite so far. The key lime pie was number two, though. But Luke doesn't get a vote, so it's actually a 50 50 split. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why doesn't he get a vote? I don't know, I just decided. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly. This is America. Jolly. Yeah. It's not, it's not it's Jolly. Not lolly. Yeah. <laughs> That's getting cut because he edits it. <laughs> All, right. All right, final one. I honestly feel like I'm coming to the end of the world's least healthy marathon. <laughs> Um, yeah. I've eaten so many calories, I've completely forgotten what the hell this is. Yeah, yeah. it's so small. Deep oh, it's small. small. I'm excited about this yes. one. So one of the th great things about s'mores are textures. Crunchy graham cracker, very soft marshmallow, melted chocolate. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried, like the Oreo, that this is going to have mixed all the textures together. It might together. be like a s'more smoothie, which is oh, kind of dear. an oxymoron. Yeah, a s'more Yeah. That you don't want that. No. Oh, big bite. Look at that. I'm not going to lie. That looks a little bit like, looks like an empanada on the inside. Like, that looks like chicken mush. That does not look like a s'more. OK, I, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, I want you to judge for yourself. I know what I think. It tastes like blended s'more, day old blended s'more. I might even say that's worse than the key lime pie. No. It's a fitting end in a way because it makes me realize what an awful thing we're doing. <laughs> you know, it just brings it all home. Okay, okay, okay. It, okay, it doesn't look good. It is a bit like a smoothie. Yeah. A small smoothie. It is. But you can, I don't know if you can see inside there, 
There are distinct melted chocolate and marshmallow textures. Oh, so yeah. sweet. Yeah. That I actually, I think they save it. I mean, it <laughs> tastes like how I imagine cardboard midway through the recycling process oh. would taste. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They soak it, mulch it down. <laughs> disturbingly accurate. It literally looks it's like so it's chewed up a spore. Mm, yeah. Spat it into yeah. some bad Okay, okay. great. And then fry it. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right, well, this definitely feels like one of those episodes where we tried everything so you don't have to. Yeah. Uh, the ice cream, revelation. Genuinely, I think that was one of my favorite things we've eaten today. If you're going to get one thing, get the ice cream. Deep fried the ice Oreos, cream. Oreos, they were good, not only because they tasted good, there was a little texture to them, but also because they're texture. quite small. So you can just pop you knock in. them back. Yeah. Also, everyone knows Oreo, Oreo makes a great shape. It mulches well. It's more on the other hand. Yeah, no. It does not mulch well. It does not. <laughs> on that note, we'll see you, Joyce. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I think the sugar's... Yeah, no, I would 100% struggle with yeah. eating all of that, what they've yeah. just eaten All in there. one go. Like, yeah. I think half of them are an Oreo, and I'd be like, no, I'm done. I no, think... like, when I ordered them Oreos, I had two Oreos, and I was like, no more. Yeah. yeah. It's just really sickly. Sickly. If you've got a sweet tooth, then you can... Like, I don't have a sweet tooth. Yeah. And you don't really have a sweet tooth. No. Like, we don't have, like loads of ice cream in the freezer no. or cookies like or stuff. And... We just, we just no, don't. No, no. Darren likes his digestive biscuits. Every night he has two digestive biscuits, which is the most There's boring. always a pack of, of digestive does. biscuits in the house. <laughs> yeah. But do you, know, do you know why he eats them? Because when he was in hospital, they used to give him a cup of tea and two digestive biscuits. So he assumes that he can eat them. He, so he thinks they must be half healthy because when he had a heart attack, they gave him digestive biscuits. Really? So now it's a habit that he has two digestive biscuits at night. <laughs> That's a crazy. Tea, that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, bless him. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. And also go and check out the uh, Office Bloke Dad Sports Edition channel, which will be in the link down below if you want to check out everything about sport. Me and uh, Daz will be covering that. So, uh, yeah, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, bye. Cheers. Bye.